Hey, what's going on guys? Eddie Martinez here with Recording Connection and welcome to your additional supplemental video for lesson number 14. Now this video is all about time-based signal processing. So we're going to be learning some things about, you know, delay and reverb. So go ahead and fire up your Pro Tools and we'll get started. All right, everyone, I hope you have a Pro Tools session brought up right now. Now, if you don't, don't worry. Take plenty of notes, as I always say, and apply this information to the next time that you're working with Pro Tools. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be, obviously, uh, working with time uh, based plugins. Uh, so we're going to be working with reverb and delay and particularly we're going to be working with them in a vocal track and I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with this vocal track as you heard me use it a bunch of times already. So let's go ahead and hear this track one more time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, solo it and uh, yeah we'll take an another listen. Hey, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we all remember this one. Pretty uneventful, pretty dull, but we're going to go ahead and spice this up a little bit uh, by adding two auxiliary tracks, one with a reverb, one with a delay, and then we're going to go ahead and work with this in a uh, kind of a time-based uh, kind of effect uh, so that it sounds a little bit cooler. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, bring up a couple new auxiliary tracks. Uh, you can obviously do this by uh, you know going to new, or you can just go ahead and uh, do command shift N and bring up two new tracks. We want them to be stereo tracks and we want them to be auxiliary tracks. So let's go ahead and do that. Looks good. Hit create. I'm going to go to the mix window uh, and that was done by hitting com uh, command plus. Now let's go ahead and set up our buses and our auxiliaries. Alright, so it's really really simple. Uh, obviously we know we want to go ahead and affect our vocal track so it's the only one that's soloed. So let's go ahead and set up our sends. Uh, we're going to send our sends over here to these two new auxiliary tracks. So let's uh, go ahead and go to our buses and go to the very first available bus tracks that we have. So we got buses one and two. That's uh, going to be eventually going to be this track right here. I'm going to go ahead and move this to Unity. So far, so good. Move over to our next send track. I guess uh, you guys already know it's going to be buses three and four. And then again, move this to uh, Unity. Beautiful. Next we're going to go ahead and make sure that bus 1 and 2 go to our uh, in and out over here on this auxiliary track. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, buses 1 and 2 obviously, right? And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for buses 3 and 4. It's going to be sent over to this auxiliary track uh, in this input. So let's go ahead and go to bus, you guessed it, 3 and 4. Boom, we're ready. Uh, now all we need to do is set up our inserts. So this first one we're going to go ahead and set an insert for our reverb. So multi-channel plugin, down to reverb, I'm going to select a D-verb, and now I'm just going to go to a factory uh, preset and the very first one I see. That'll probably work. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to adjust this anyways. Okay, It's just a starting point. Next I'm going to go ahead and go to our other insert available for our other auxiliary track and select our delay. And I'm going to go ahead and select a medium delay and we'll begin adjusting from there. So the first thing I want to do is adjust the, the delay track first. So I'm going to hit solo on this one and, um, and then we're going to begin adjusting everything like the mix, obviously the tempo, and actually what's really nice about using this particular uh, you know, plugin for delay is that it actually brings up the tempo and it automatically syncs up with your project tempo that makes things a lot easier and you could even adjust the metering so if you want everything you know the echo or the delay to happen on every quarter note eighth note sixteenth note you know half note whole note whatever you want you could adjust that as well and we have a left and right side uh, that the delay will be happening on and you can adjust the parameters on that to make it a little bit more interesting so let's go ahead and hear how it sounds I'm sure it's not going to sound super great but we'll begin adjusting Hey, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that sounds obviously pretty annoying, but we're going to fix that. First thing we're going to want to do is bring down the mix a little bit. I'm going to move this one to 50% or 50%-ish. 
Actually, let's go ahead and just make it an EV, even 50%. And this one I'm going to go ahead and move the mix to maybe like 70%, 60% because I want to go ahead and you know vary the sound a little bit. I don't want it to sound too identical, so uh, I like to go ahead and mix this up just a bit. Now the next thing I'm going to want to do is uh, set up the feedback. Again, I'm going to go ahead and move this a little bit different than the other one, so maybe 30 on this one, maybe, or actually maybe 50 on this one, maybe 30 on the other. Actually, let's go ahead and do 30 on this one, 50 on the other. And this could really be done uh, as you're, you know, listening to the mix, but I kind of already know uh, the vibe I want, and I'll go ahead and adjust from there. So let's go ahead and hear how it sounds for right now. Hey, 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 Okay, it's sounding a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and move the metering to uh, eighth notes on both ends. And let's see how this sounds. Hey, 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 yeah, 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 yeah,